Hello everyone, Alex here from warnoffkeys.com and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use Lambda Layers. So layers are actually a really useful tool that allow you to create one single module or utility and use it across multiple lambdas. So each lambda function can use up to five layers and you can upload as many layers as you want and have various different versions to those layers. So to get started, I'm going to be inside of my Lambda folder and I'm going to make a new folder called layers. If we navigate into this folder, I'm going to then make another folder. This one will be called Axios, which is one of the many methods you can use to use a get request or post request. And inside of this folder, I'm going to make another folder called Node.js. And we're going to then navigate into that folder in our console. So layers, Axios, Node.js. We're going to use npm init-y. After that's done, we're then going to install Axios with npm install Axios. Now we're going to right click on Axios inside of our folder. We want to reveal this in the file explorer. You then need to go inside the folder and you want to right click on Node.js and send this to a compressed zip folder. We could then close out of this, we're done with that. We're now gonna go into Lambda and we're gonna create another function. I'm gonna minimize the console here. This function name will simply be called testing. We don't need any permissions, it's gonna be very basic. We're gonna click on create function at the bottom right. Okay, so inside of here, I'm going to write a very basic function. We're going to start by importing Axios. Then after that, I'm going to create a result object that is going to hold the results of a get request from Axios. And we're going to use the JSON placeholder API. A link to this will be in the video description. But essentially, we can use this endpoint right here, and it'll return some dummy data from a to-do list. So if we copy this and go back over here, we are then going to paste that in there and we are going to return results.data. If we save this with control S in the inline editor, and then we save the lambda function at the top right, we could then select the test event at the top right. We can configure a new test event and we're gonna call this one test. We're not actually using the parameters here, so we don't have to configure those at all. We can click on create and then we're going to run this test with a test button right here. So scrolling up, we see this failed. This is kind of expected because it cannot find the module Axios because it doesn't actually have access to it because we haven't imported anything yet. So clicking on the far left here to open up this menu, we can open layers in a new tab and we're gonna go ahead and upload our Axios layer and then give this Lambda function access to it. So here we can create a new layer. We can enter the layer name is going to be Axios layer. You can name it whatever you want though. We're going to upload a zip file. We're gonna click on upload. We're then going to navigate into the Axios folder and select nodejs.zip. We can select a runtime. Mine will be the latest Node.js version. And then we're going to click on create at the bottom right. All right, now that we've created this, we're going to go back to our Lambda function. We can close out of these results. And under the designer tab at the top, we see layers. We can click on that. And we see no layers here at the moment. We can click on add a layer. We're going to select the name, which will be Axios layer. And we're going to select the version, which is the only version we have available. We're going to click on add. And now if we run this function, we get the actual results here. And so now it has access to Axios, even though there's no node modules at all. And that's because it has access to one of the five layers here, which imports that module for us. Thanks for watching this AWS tutorial. If you need help or have a video request, be sure to leave a comment down below or ask in the Warnoff Keys Discord, which can be found in the video description. If you want to learn more about AWS, consider clicking on one of the videos you see on your screen now.